Welcome back, this is Yamajack, and today we got Gunslinger Ashwood Asylum Suicidal, and I have been playing some Key Mash, and uh, the pressure got to me at the start and I was tilting, but now that I'm kind of past that initial tilt, that overwhelming with the stress and the pressure and the, and the despair, uh, I think that it's actually like rapidly like forced me to to get better at typing so i think that my typing speed is actually like suddenly skyrocketed so after i go back to type racer and start doing some more um, races over there i think the uh, like that improvement graph that i showed you is gonna have like a very sharp spike up to like 140 150 even um so that's gonna be really really cool uh because my speed on key mash is like unreal and <laughs> not something i've ever seen myself do on type racer it's it's significantly better than anything i did before uh so i'm really really happy with that and the result is look at that diamond rank um low diamond i should be able to make it to, to like mid diamond even um i'm hoping to maybe get into like the top 25 uh, like if we look at this dude records is 178 i can type that pretty easily as well um, average is 137. That's like not too far away from me. Uh, octahedron, I've, I've raced a few times and I've definitely won. 182, I can do uh, average about 140 as well. I can do that. So somewhere like the top 25 seems to be about where realistically that, that I could be in like, I don't know, a few weeks to, to maybe a month. At least that with, uh, with these people here. Um, Keegan is a little bit above me, I think. Uh, yeah, 223 is a little bit above what I can do, and then the average here is 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 monstrous. So, um, top 10? No, top 15? Nah. <laughs> um, these guys are all monsters as well. Like if you take a look at like Shaz, which is not on here. Uh, Chuck is not on here. Joshu here, like 261. Like if you take a look at like Joshu's average, it's like 200 average. <laughs> like it's just stupid, dude. Um, not not where I'm at in my life. Um, this average, by the way, is not showing um, your average in uh, in the ranked matches. Um, so these these stats here like just don't matter to me at all. These aren't relevant, but they do kind of show where somebody was when they started uh, and uh, if they continue to keep up with the matches as well on the the casual stuff, um, then it can show that. So my stats don't really show where I'm at. One twenty five is definitely not my average. Um, and my highest is 100% not 155. Like, I just finished a race uh, that got me promoted. I typed a 168. And that's also not my best race, you know? Like, I have uh, I have some low ones as well. But, uh, yeah, no, like, it's... Uh, 155 is, is not, not even close to my best race. But, uh, yeah, I'm top 56 right now. Um, I should be able to get into the top 50 pretty easily, pretty confidently. I've beaten this guy. Um, I wiped him, I believe. Um, so somewhere around here-ish, I should be able to get to pretty comfortably. Uh, and then to get past that into like the top 25, I think we're going to have some trouble. Dessel should be up here as well, I think, right? Howard, I think I've uh, I faced off a couple of times. And I think I've gotten a couple wins on, on Howard as well. Um, not like full wins, but a couple of... Because uh, the matches are like best of five. I think I've beaten a couple races, but I don't think I've ever taken like a full match from Howard. Um... So yeah, I think I could be up top 25 if I uh, keep it up and uh, continue to uh, to push the uh, the ranking. Uh, also, these are all going to spread out a bit more as people kind of like start playing and as more people get into key mash and, um, you know, all that kind of stuff happens. Like these people here who are getting up into master territory, like if we take a look at how to play, people are going to get to grandmaster. Um, it's going to happen. Um, so... You know, you're, you're going to end up having people, like, these people are going to be Grandmaster. A lot of these people here are going to be Master. Like, probably most of the top 25 is going to be Master eventually. Um, it's, just, it's just the way that it's going to be. You know, like, these people up here are probably going to get up to, like, 3,000. You know, like, it's going to happen if they continue to race and stuff, right? Um, they aren't. I haven't seen Joshu or Chax, like, wins or losses go up at all yet. Um, Amaranchin is, uh, is racing. Um... So you know their 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 numbers should go up in uh, in time, and uh, as a result, you know all these people are going to stop facing off against people who are way better than them, and they're going to be able to get up to master and start to, to continue facing each other and stuff. And 
it's going to spread out a lot more and uh you know like a master rank right now super impressive like literally only the best racers like in the world are going to be master rank right um but i don't know how long the season goes for um but if it's like more than a few months like these people are going to get up to like you know 3000 and there's going to be this gradient of uh the grandmasters even um I keep getting this call from telus i don't like i don't i don't have time to answer you right now okay um and then, uh, you know, a lot of these people are going to be masters, and there's going to be that gradient in that as well. Uh, so we're going to kind of end up being with that. But hopefully I can eventually get into the top 25. I think I can. Uh, but I'm really happy to just finally get up to Diamond. I was like 1580 or something yesterday, um, back when I was getting, like, really tilted and stuff. You are here to clean out Zeds. And here come um, so I was getting really tilted at the start of it, and it was, like, really super duper not fun. Yeah. <laughs> But I, I'm kind of past that. I'm typing a lot better now. Um, I think my average right now is like about 140-ish, like 130 to 140-ish. Um, doing a lot of like 160, 170s as well, which feel pretty good. Um, thinking I might be able to start pushing a little bit more raw as well. So I might start aiming for like 180, 190 on the faster races. I'm only really like trying for 160, 170 because it feels pretty comfortable and uh, I can type reasonably accurately. But uh, I might start, might start pushing for for like 180, maybe 190. Try and get like a, a 200 race in there, maybe even. Eventually, could happen. I think I'm, I think I'm at the level now where where I could start to, to see that happening. Um, in a in a, you know, one on one ranked situation, I don't know if I'd want to do that. But maybe for like monkey type or a type racer, I might try to do that and get a little bit of practice there. Um, but yeah, I just hit uh, that person who I showed in the in the race harnessing. And they, uh, I kept getting up to like 17.45 off of, because uh, like, if, if, I, if I face somebody who's gold ranked, or if I face somebody who is, um, yeah, if I, if I face somebody who's gold ranked, I'm typically going to win, unless they're also like me, and they got tilted at the start, and their speed isn't like reflected by the, uh, the ranking, which is definitely true for me. Um, because I got really tilted, so, you know, my, my, my ranking reflected more of like a 100, 110 average. Not, not me. Yeah, it's not who I am, so. Um, you know, it's, uh, and then I, I, I kind of got my, my wits back and started being able to type a little bit more normally, and, uh, yeah, so then I was like, you know, 1580 or something like that, and I'm like, yeah, no, I'll just knock out like a 160 or a 170 or something, you know, and it's like, you know, no offense to the people who are gold ranked, it's just not really something you're going to do as often as I'm going to do, just because like, it's just how it goes, unless you're also not gold ranked, you know, like, it's not, you know, like, trying to be rude or anything, it's just like, you know, the rankings are there, <laughs> you know, like, it's, you can see it, right, like, somebody who's, like, 1600 rank is rated is gonna have, like, maybe, like, a burst of, like, 160, 170, but it's not gonna be, like, an every time thing, and, and typically what they're gonna do when they, uh, when they do, like, a fast or a good race is gonna be about, like, 140, 150, um, whereas for me, that's, that's considered, like, a, a normal, like, slower race, like, that's, like, a, a long, um, endurance kind of thing, you know, so, it's just it's just not fair races when I'm like 1600 and and facing against people who are also 1600 because I uh, my my rate my ranking is is uh, is only because of well was only because of the um, the fact that I was tilted at the start and um, their ranking was was maybe because they didn't get tilted unless they did too which which also happened on occasion I definitely faced uh, a number of people in the gold rank who um, who were, in my opinion, better than gold rank. You know, people who were deserving of a, of a diamond ranking. You know, just if they race a bunch, they'll probably get there as well. Um, I still mostly won facing them. Because um, I'm, I'm a pretty good typer. You know, like, I don't want to, like, brag or be rude or anything, but, like, I'm pretty good, so... But, uh, yeah, it's, um... It really puts it in perspective, like you know how far away i am from from being like because all I, i'm i'm happy to admit that i'm one of the best racers in the world i think that anybody who's able to get to like diamond rank and maintain diamond 
on on key mesh and the in the current states of uh, of what that actually means. I think that anybody who can do that can confidently say that they're one of the best typists in the world. Um, because uh, you know, like putting it in chess terms, I'd, I'd I'd probably say that anybody who can do that would be like, you know, maybe maybe a uh, you'd, you'd probably be deserving of a title in in chess if it, if it were chess, right? Um, and and those people are, are definitely some of the best chess players in the world. Now, are they like the best? No, you know that, that's Carl. Carl, um, huh? Uh, what's? I can't even remember his name. I'm I'm so tilted. Uh, M Magnus, whatever, dude. I can't I can't remember his name. I'm just like gone. Anyway, you know, like like number one dude. You know, Hikaru and um. I, I'm gonna. This is gonna kill me. Who is the best chess player? Carlson Magnus. Carl Carlson. Yeah. Magnus Carlson. Okay, that's that's why it was seeming so weird to me. I'm like Carlson Magnus doesn't sound right, but it's Magnus Carlson. That that sounds right. Um, you know, like they're not they're not you know like like if you, if you go see, I don't know like. Some random, you know, international master chess player. Like they're not going to be at his level, but they're still one of the best chess players in the world. You know, they're still deserving of a title. They're deserved of. Re they're deserving of some recognition. Um, and I think that that's that's sort of about where where I'd be at in the uh, in the typing world. Although typing doesn't really have as much of a a following. We don't have like you know official tournaments and like you know, global competitions and all this kind of stuff like that doesn't exist for typing. Um, but, uh, you know, despite that, it's uh, it's always fun when you end up getting put up against somebody who is like uh, a proper, you know, like again in the chess terms, a proper, you know, like grandmaster, like uh, Anish Giri, Magnus Carlsen, Hikaru, um, you know, any, any of these people who are like just very, very good players or you know typists um and you get put up against them and you see like wow i'm really really good i still don't stand like a chance like i was showing like joshua's uh average is like you know like like 190 200 just stupid man it's stupid i can type that you know i, I can type that right like I, I could I could beat Joshu on on you know if, if he's having a bad day and I'm having a good day like I'll win right like no question but like maintaining that as an average not a chance zero chance I'm not I'm not at that level you know so it's uh, it's fun seeing how this kind of stuff and you get kind of matched up with people who are at that level uh, on occasion um, just because when people are going through their their like ranking assessment on key mesh, um, you end up uh, occasionally seeing people who are like way too good to be ranked against you. You know, like like uh, somebody who types like 200 words per minute, 220, 230, or something like that, and is getting ranked against you or matched against you, and you're like, yeah, no, the best I can reasonably do right now is probably like 170, 180, and. Uh, just like it does, like my my best isn't able to win against uh, against you right now, you know. Like I I could maybe push it and get like a 200. I'd I'd probably end up losing a lot of accuracy and not make it, but I, I could I could maybe you know make it to 200. Um, but like still just not gonna win. And it's just because there isn't enough players playing on key mesh. Um, you know there there are a lot of problems with key mesh. Um, but uh, they pretty much all stem from just uh, there not being enough players, you know. Like, what are what are some of the problems with with key mash right now? Um, there's queue times. It can uh, it can take a while to queue up for a match. Uh, at my level, I'm you know I'm I'm a top player on key mash. Um, it doesn't take that long. I, I typically get a match in about a minute. Um, but you know that's that's because the top players are the players who are actually playing. So when I try to play with people, there are other people around my level who are also playing because the people around my level are the best typists 
on Keymash, and those are the ones who are actually like really enjoying it and doing it a lot and practicing and you know yada yada yada. That's why they're the best typists, right? The people who are at lower, you know, elos like twelve hundred thousand, you know, whatever, even lower than that. Those people aren't people who are investing as much time into typing. They're not people who are as passionate about it. They aren't people who are like, you know, going to go out of their way to do it. So you might end up having to like wait a while to to queue up for it. Um, I don't have that experience, but, you know, people who are at lower elo definitely could. Um, so that's one problem. Uh, another problem is that, uh, oftentimes you get matched with somebody who's, like, way different to your ranking. Um, I often get matched with people who are at, like, 1400, just because, um, the, uh, the starting offset for, like, how far away you can find somebody in a, in a, in a match is 250. So if I'm 1700 and somebody else is, uh, is 1450, then we can get matched. Like, just immediately. We'll, we'll, we'll immediately be able to see each other and match with each other. Um, because that's just, like, straight up in the, uh, in the range. Um, and then every, like, few moments, if it can't find somebody, uh, it'll add four to the, uh, to the delta. And, um... It'll keep doing that until you eventually find somebody to match with you. So it's very plausible that you'd end up matching with somebody who's 300, even like 400 above you, uh, just because you couldn't match with somebody for a while, and they couldn't match with somebody for a while, and then, you know, you're either matching with somebody who's 400 above you, and you have no chance of winning, or you're matching with somebody 400 below you, and you just feel bad because you're just farming them. Um... So it's, uh, <clears throat> it feels, it feels bad on occasion, um, but both of those problems, you know, the queue times and the, uh, the not being able to find somebody in your, like, rank are solved by just having more players, but there aren't more players. There's like 300 players or 400 players or something like that who are actually ranked. Um, let's take a look, actually. After a nice glass of water. Let's take a look. So if we go to the uh, to this page and we just scroll on back, should be right around here-ish. Yeah, this this should be the last one. So 349 players, I believe. I don't know why this bug happens, but as soon as I click this, it'll like take me somewhere else. Yeah. Uh, so 349 players is how many players there are ranked. Now there are a lot of people who are unranked. Um. And going through the ranking assessment, so I, I think it's probably closer to about 550, maybe 600. Um, but at the end of the day, like that's not enough people to to make sure that everybody's able to find a a match against somebody who's fairly evenly ranked. To make sure the queue times aren't super long, um, you know, to do all that, like it's just it's not enough people. So we, we there there needs to be more people on. Uh, on Keymash for it to be a, a truly, like, I don't know, like, it, 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 if it gets popular enough, it could be, like, revolutionary to typing, um, because it's, I, I haven't personally seen anything that, that does uh, the ranking stuff as, as well as Keymash does, um, with the matchmaking and all that, that's a really, really cool idea, I really, really like it, I could see it being quite revolutionary to typing, um, with like tournaments and, and prizes and stuff coming up as well possibly but but for that to get to that point for it to happen um, there there needs to be more people like you need to have thousands of players you know like it's it's not something that's gonna happen with just like 600 people or whatever right um, but uh, yeah it, it could it could happen um, just, just need more people. So that's that's like the main problem with Keymash is there just aren't enough people. But then ultimately, like there aren't that many people who are like passionate about typing either, right? Like that's that's why I can say so confidently that I'm one of the best typists in the world, even though I'm not comparable to to the people who are like at the top, top, top. You know, like there just aren't that many people who do this as a hobby. There just aren't. So pretty much anybody that does is going to be one of the best. 
Um, I mean, I'm a little bit, you know, above that perhaps, but um, you know, it's just it's it's uh, there aren't that many people. So like, how are you how are you supposed to get thousands of users when there aren't that many <laughs> users who are who are gonna do that? You know, like. The, the, the possible number of users that Keymash can have is just not that high, which is, uh, is a big disappointment because the idea of it is just so much fun. And now that I'm past, like, my Mega Tilts from when I started, and I'm not getting disappointed when I lose, or as disappointed anyway, still disappointing, um, but, you know, whatever. Um, it's, it's a lot of fun. I love it. I love. I love typing on Keymash. It's it's so much fun. Uh, so one of the other problems with Keymash, for uh, for my money, is uh, we can go do a race. I suppose. Let's let's do a race. See if we can duel real quick. I'll give it like twenty seconds here to find a a match. I might might get demoted. Um, but uh, we'll see. I'll give it like twenty seconds. If it finds a match in twenty seconds, we'll do it. Uh, if it doesn't. Then uh, we'll just go back to <laughs> just in time. Okay, I won't be talking during the race. This is all focus. Um, so one thing I want to pay attention to is when I finish this race, because I'm probably going to win, probably, um, like it ends immediately, so Dylan can't continue typing. race, man. So you can see that it just ends immediately and Dylan can't continue typing. I want you to remember that because we'll talk about it when we get back to the game. <laughs> I got tilted on that one. The recording adds extra pressure too, it's a little bit... I'm not typing well at all. I was hoping I'd do well on this and I'd be able to show off, but I'm just not. Am I going to get deranked since somebody way below me? Not a performance worthy of diamond rank. At all. <laughs> um, my god, that was horrible. But, okay. Um, I can't type on camera. I've tried it a few times. I've, I've tried to like stream it and like record and stuff. I can't type on camera. I'm just not as good at it. If I did it a lot, I'd probably get used to it. But uh, I do really bad under pressure when I'm typing. That's why I was so like annoyed when I first got onto Keymash, because like the pressure of it just really got to me. And then I was already typing pretty poorly and stuff. So it's uh... pressure is not uh, is not so good for me. But um, as you can see, when I finished around or when Dylan finished around, um, it immediately stops. So I can't continue typing. That's really really frustrating because for me. You know, like, I like typing. 
right? Like I like it. It's fun. This cat's back in the it's, game. it's 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 something I do for fun, you know. Like it, it's not fun, like cat. typing is the the means. Like typing is the goal, right? Like it's you know I'm I'm happy to have the the rankings on top of it as well. That makes it a lot more fun for me because I get to also have that sort of like gamification to it. Um, and have like the rankings and the ratings and all this like that also makes it a lot of fun but typing is is like the ultimate goal here right like that's really what I'm doing this for that's why I enjoy it that's what I'm trying to do that's what's fun right um, but when somebody else wins and I have to stop typing it kind of gets in the way of me being able to have that fun because it, it stops it like hard right and I'm kind of used to it now like when somebody else wins I'm, I'm like yeah well that's just the end of the typing and you just continue right like it's fine you kind of get used to it after a while like I've done I don't know 100 races or something 100 ranked matches um so it, you know you get used to it right but especially at the start it was really really frustrating when I wouldn't get to finish typing the text because you know sometimes you'd have like a, t a text you're typing well and you're having fun and it feels smooth and stuff, you know, like... Here's the thing for typing. So if, if you aren't, like, a fan of typing, it's not always fun because it's fast. Fast is good. Fast is... It helps. Definitely makes a big difference to how much fun uh, typing is, right? Like, the faster you type and the bigger your numbers are, that's, that's fun, right? But uh, there's, like, a secondary aspect to it that just, like... Some words and combinations of words and stuff are just more fun to type. Like, I really enjoy typing people. And a lot of people really don't enjoy typing people. You know, like... I can't type it right now. Oh my god. Um, you know, a lot of people don't like typing that. Um, whereas I do really like typing it. It's just, like, really fun to... Like, I can't type... Like, I just I can't type on camera, okay? That's the moral of the story. Uh, but, like, some people don't like doing that. I do. Right, so when, I, when I'm typing a match and it's like the people went to, you know, like, Amsterdam or something like that. Even if I'm not typing it super fast, as long as I'm not making mistakes. Even if I'm only typing, you know, like 140 or 150. Um, if I'm not making mistakes and I'm comfortably typing, like, it's just, it's a race that just feels good to type. Um, so, you know, you could be typing a race that just feels good. Isn't your fastest performance. Somebody else ends up beating you and then you kind of get cut off of that, uh, that joy from, from having that fun race to type. Um, and that, that just feels really, really, really bad. Um, so that's, like, another problem that, uh, that definitely happens with, um, with Key Mesh. So, and I think that that's a big part of why a lot of people don't play it. Why there's a lot of people who have started their ranking assessment and then haven't followed through with it. I think that that's a big part of it because... You know, you end up trying to, to go and, and get your rank, and you're maybe, like, supposed to be 1,300 or 1,400 or something like that. And the only person you're getting ranked against is me, right? Like, I've wiped a lot of people who are going through their ranking assessment. Um, you know, to the point where they, like, start rage quitting as soon as they get matched with me, just because they're like, yeah, I know you're going to win. Like, I just, I'm not going to do this. And, like, I feel bad, but I'm like, I'm not just going to not race. Like, I don't, it's not my fault. You know, like, I feel bad, but it's there's nothing I can do about it. Um, but that's probably why a lot of people aren't continuing, just because, like, it's really unfun when you're going through that ranking assessment or those first, um, you maybe 10 or 20 races to kind of get your, your ranking back to where you should be, to where you're getting more evenly matched, or at least somewhat evenly matched. Um, you know, you just, you're, you're losing a lot. Um... And, uh, you're, like, not having fun because you're, you're getting your races canceled early and every time you, like, make a mistake, you get punished even more severely because you don't get to finish the race and it just, it feels really bad. So I assume that there are a lot of people who are quitting because of that. Um, and that's kind of like a thing where you're like, well, how do you really solve that one? Because, you know, some of the other problems you get to solve by just getting, like, a bigger player base, but, you know, that one, it's like... Well, I mean, if you let the, you know, if, if you don't finish the race until both players have finished the race, then whoever types faster has to, like, wait. And now you're going to get complaints about that side as well. So it's like, I don't really know how you fix that one. Um, 
I don't really know. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't have a solution. I, I know that it's a problem. Um, but I, I think that it's, it's kind of just like a, a part of how the, the game works. That, that it's just, you're, you're playing a competitive thing. Like, it's not really typing so much as it is competing. Um, but I, I don't really know how you fix that one. Because, uh, yeah, like, it's, it's not, I, I, I don't know. I, I recognize it as a problem, and and typically when I when I recognize problems, I like to, to be the kind of person who um is like I see this as a problem, and and I, I can see this is maybe a solution, and I don't got nothing, dude. <laughs> All I know is that it's a problem, but like your guess is as good as mine to how that one can be resolved. It's not really I haven't really brought it up uh, in like the feedback or anything like that. I've talked about it with some of the other keymash users, but I haven't like brought it up to any of the devs. Because again, like if I don't have a solution to it, I'm not gonna just be like this is a problem, fix it. You know, like I, I don't think that's very good. Like you have to be like this is a problem. I think that like maybe this or this could be like a, a possible solution, even if it's not a good solution. I, I think that if you try to put some time into thinking about it, it at least shows that like you care about it and you you thought it through and and you've recognized at least some of the problems with it and stuff. It it, it, it just shows a little bit more thought being put into it, which in my opinion is is appreciated. Um, try and get up here, please. Not safe. Not safe. I thought I'd be able to squeeze up a little bit closer there. Um. Yeah, anyway, it's uh, really, it's been a lot of fun typing on Keymash. Um, I'm happy to be 56th place right now, I believe. I'm um, hoping to get up into the top 50 maybe later today. I was top 50 last night, but uh, some people have passed me. Um, so I'd, uh, I'd like to get back there today and, and maybe slowly work my way up into the top 25, perhaps. But uh, even just being, you know, diamond ranked and, and slowly moving up the... The, uh, the Tears of Diamond feels pretty good. You know, it's like uh, on Type Racer, I'd, I'd get into like top 20, top 10 even on the leaderboards there. Like, if we take a look, well, like, yeah, I guess we don't really have to pause it. If we take a look over on Type Racer, I guess we can do a Type Racer race. Um, there's like this leaderboard here. So it's, it's fun to get into like the top 10 or whatever, right? Um, so I, we'll, we'll do a race here quickly. I just can't type. So anyway, um, yeah, it's it's fun to get into the top twenty here. But then there's just certain a certain something that comes from like seeing this like ranking that that's me, you know, like that's that's where I am right now. And then having this leaderboard that's a little bit more granular, um, it's just, it's just really really cool to to see that. Anyway, uh, Keymash, good fun. Definitely go check it out. It's like so much fun. I can't. I I wish I could record more of it and like show it off, but I really can't type. Um, like you, you might have seen like even in this race like the one where I was Previously if you go back I, I typed a 151 <laughs> And then this is like 114 and it's like come on dude um, Average speed is like 123 and that's like low for me right now. So like it's just I can't type on camera I don't know why anyway That's gonna do it for today. So thanks for watching like the video if you like it subscribe to see more in the future comment if you have anything to say and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye